Hello, everyone. My name is Na Du, and I'm a system professor in the School of Computing and Information at the University of Pittsburgh. Today, I'm going to present our work on designing alert systems in takeover transitions, the effect of display information and modality. Early this year, Honda launched a new sensing elite safety system with the level three automated driving features in Japan. With the traffic jam pilot function, the driver can watch the televisions while the vehicle takes control of the systems. However, when the system cannot handle certain conditions, it requests a handover to the drivers. Existing literature has proposed different types of interfaces for the takeover requests. They can be the symbol of the wheel and the pedals with text explanations on the dashboard, auditory alert system alerts such as the speech or beeps, and vibration sensors on the seat. In addition to the takeover requests, some in-vehicle alert systems provide event-related information to potentially support the driver's takeovers. Cool studies categorize the speech information into three types, how the car is acting, why the car is acting, and why plus how the car is acting. They found that how only information led to the lowest acceptance and the most unsafe driving behaviors. Ericsson categorized information based on the information processing stage. They highlighted the object's severe spheres for information acquisition, indicate the lane availability via carpets for information analysis, and symbolize the action recommendations by arrows for decision selection. Their results showed that compared to the carpet and arrow conditions, solely highlighting an obstacle via a sphere didn't improve the decision making, but rather increased unnecessary braking. The first research question our study aimed to answer is, what is the most effective display information? As a summary of existing literature, we categorized information to why information, what will information, and why plus what will information. Why information indicates the perception and comprehension of the elements in the environment. What will information recommends the, the future actions for drivers to negotiate the takeover scenarios. With regard to the display modality, this study used the speech alerts and auditory icons to describe scenarios during the automated driving. They found that speech alerts led to better memories for events and increased the situational awareness. In another study, the classical head-up display presented distance warning icons on the windshield. The augmented head-up display directly superimposed information onto the real scene. The findings showed that the augmented reality head-up displays helped better anticipate the lane change maneuver and improve the driving comfort. Tactile modalities was found to be not that effective in conveying the, com the complex information. Our study aimed to answer another question, uh, what, is the most what is the most appropriate display modalities to present the information? We chose to present the information in augmented reality head-up display, speech, and their combinations modalities. Event criticality is one of the most important environmental variables that can influence the takeover behaviors. Event criticality can be manipulated by takeover lead time, which is the critical event onset for failures at the time of request. Researchers found that the event criticality interacts with the alert presence to influence takeover quality. Our study aimed to answer the question, how does event criticality influence the driver's ratings of in-vehicle alert system? To summarize, our study aimed to investigate how display information, modality, and event criticality influence the driver's acceptance of in-vehicle alert system during the takeover transitions. Different from previous literature, we were also interested in examining whether and how these three variables interact with each other to influence the driver's subjective ratings of the alert systems. Our study used a two by three by three mixed design. Display modality was a between subjects variable. Information type and event criticality were within subject variables. 
We set the event with seven seconds lead time as low event criticality and event with four seconds lead time as high event criticality. In each conditions, participants experience one lane keeping event and one lane changing event. For example, in pedestrian cut in event, we use the bounding box to highlight the Y information and stop sign to show one well information. It means that the takeover event happens because there's a pedestrian cutting in and the drivers need to stop before proceeding to negotiate the scenarios. Here is an example of the speech. Pedestrian on the road, stop before proceeding. We measure that the drivers perceived e usefulness and ease of use based on the technology acceptance model. We also ask the participants an open-ended questions on whether the display helps them to take over and why. 60 participants were recruited in the experiment. The study was conducted in the form of a Zoom video meeting. Participants were asked to imagine themselves as a driver of a level three automated vehicles. Um, when the vehicle was in automated driving mode, the, partic the participants traded with experimental on their phone. When an unexpected takeover event was issued, participants should stop trading, look at the display, and imagine taking over control of the vehicle. Participants filled out, filled out the survey at the end of each block. Here are our results. Among the three types of information, why only information led to the lower perceived usefulness than Y plus what well information? Drivers had lower perceived usefulness of the displays when event criticality was high. We also asked the participant to rank the perceived usefulness of the information types. The results showed that Y plus what well information led to higher rankings compared to why only information or what well, what well only information. For the perceived ease of use, why only information led to lower perceived ease of use compared to what well only information or why plus what well information. The combination of augmented reality head up display and uh, speech conditions led to higher perceived ease of use than speech only conditions. For the answers to the open-ended questions, we categorize the variance of the answers into three groups, positive, negative, and mixed. The results showed that the low event criticality led to more positive opinions of the display than high event criticality. As a conclusion, we found that why only information was not sufficient to help drivers take over. The speech and augmented reality head up display led to higher uh, perceived higher ease of use compared to the speech only condition. High event criticality led to lower perceived usefulness than and more negative opinions of the displays. Our study has some design implications. We suggest that what what information should be provided in addition to why information. It is beneficial to present information in speech and augmented reality head up display modalities. When, when event criticality is high, we can explore other methods such as the training to increase the display usefulness and ease of use. We admit that there are some limitations in the study. First, only subjective measurements were collected due to the COVID and the future studies can conduct the lab studies to measure the driver's driving behaviors. Second, only young adults were recruited in the experiment. Future studies can recruit participants from diverse groups, such as uh, different age and driving experience. Third, future study can study what will happen if the provided information is not 100% accurate due to the sensor limitations and the complex driving environments. That's all about my presentation. Thank you for listening, and I'm happy to take questions.